Hello friends, this is Sanjeev from slidervilla.com and today I will talk about the RSS feed add-on. It fetches data from other websites and shows the same in, in any of our slider. Say for example, if you want to include a, a slider of images from 500px.com, you just need the RSS feed from that site and you can use this add-on to include that. For example, over here, I have used the shortcode once I have enabled the RSS feed add-on plugin and also having the slider plugin installed on my WordPress installation. Now you can I can use the RSS feed add-on to fetch the images from third-party sites. For example, over here in this shortcode, I am using the shortcode as svrss feed space feed URL is equal to the RSS feed address from 500px.com and then mention the slider's name. I can change the slider name over here to show the same content in different sliders. I have mentioned the set is equal to 1 which is settings ID. You can create multiple settings from the slider settings panel. Once I update this page, Over here, I can see the images coming from 500px and this is the RSS feed for editor's choice uh, images on 500px. Now if I want a slider of recent articles on mashable.com, I just have to change the URL over here. This is the RSS URL of Mashable. Now you can see the recent articles appearing on my website from Mashable.com. This is how you can change to any RSS URL and include the same on your website. It is helpful in you know creating a slider from Flickr images or any third party websites or any news sources or if you are having multiple websites you can fetch the articles from other website to one website thanks for watching